feature number 1. Revamp New Dynamo 2.13 The new update of Dynamo is quite amazing. The entire user interface has been redone to match Autodesk's new branding. As you can see, everything now has a dark theme with cyan colored text. Searching for nodes is now much easier and faster, although still not perfect. You can see we now have black nodes. I like the new graphic style and there are also little graphic icons for each node. Another improvement are the interactive wires. If you hover your cursor above a wire, you will see a little plus sign, then pin and eye icons. Clicking on the eye will add a watch node here. The pin icon is used to control the graphics location of the wire. Groups are also much better. They now have a header, where you can type not only the title, but also a group description. You can add nodes to a group by dragging and dropping them into it. You can remove a node from a group by right-clicking and selecting Remove from Group. There's a new feature called Collapse Group. It is possible to hide the nodes from a group and only show the inputs and outputs. You have to click the little arrow here. Once a group is collapsed, you can drag and drop it into another group. It becomes a nested group. You can still access the ports of the collapsed nested group. At the bottom of each collapsed group, you can see the amount of nodes included inside of it. Another feature that will be incredibly helpful is the workspace reference menu which will let you know which custom packages are missing in the script. For example, in this script, the Genius Lochi package is missing and Dynamo cannot execute the script. You can simply click the button called Install Specified Version to install the correct version of this specific package. You are now able to use the script. Overall, this new release of Dynamo is amazing and helpful. Feature number two, filter schedules by sheet. In this example, we have a door schedule next to a floor plan view. What if you want the schedule to only show doors visible inside the sheet it is placed on? The only way to do that with the old Revit was to duplicate the schedule and create a different schedule for each sheet. In Revit 2023, you can go to the filter menu of the schedule and activate filter by sheet. As you can see, the same schedule will display different information depending on which sheet it is placed on. Feature number 3. New icons for views placed on sheet in Project Browser. Have a look at the Project Browser. Views that are placed on a sheet will have an icon with a fill blue square next to the name. Views that are not placed on a sheet will have an empty gray square. If you don't like this feature, you can turn it off by right clicking in the Project Browser and clicking on Show View Placement on Sheet Status Icon. Feature number 4. New Dynamo Player. The Dynamo player allows you to execute Dynamo scripts without having to open Dynamo. The user interface has been completely redone. Each script can have a custom image and a description. It is possible to search for scripts. There's a question mark icon that leads to a custom URL to explain how to use the script. You can use different folders instead of just one to place your scripts. If you try to execute a script, Dynamo will first ask you to fill in the inputs. You can see that there are also descriptions for all the inputs and outputs in the scripts. Overall, this should make it easier for users without Dynamo experience to access and use scripts. If you like this video, check out our Revit Pure Learning Program. It contains three courses for Revit, Basics, Design and Manage. Our comprehensive Revit learning program is perfect for both beginners and advanced users who want to have a blast while they master Revit. The bundle contains three ebook PDFs, 450 minutes of video tutorials, our brand new Revit Pure Pro template, and exercise projects to test what you've learned. You will also get a bonus pamphlet PDF about Revit 2023 best new features. Go to revitpure.com bundle and get 30% off when you combine the three courses. Feature number 5, Measure in 3D Views. In the old Revit, you could not use the Measure tool in 3D Views. 
The only way to take measure was to set a work plane and use the dimension feature, which was long and annoying. In Revit 2023, you can now access the measure tool. You don't need to set a work plane first. It works quite simply, although the blue text isn't easy to read in color views. You can create chain dimensions and measure on different planes at the same time. I'm happy this feature has been introduced, but honestly, it is late. SketchUp has been having a feature like this since its initial release. Feature number six, duplicate materials and its shared assets. In the old Revit, when you duplicated the material, it did not also duplicate the assets. The appearance asset was still shared with the original material, which most users were not aware of. It was a frequent problem to see users modify an appearance asset without realizing they were affecting the original material. In Revit 2023, there are two options when you duplicate a material. The one you should probably use is called Duplicate Material and Assets. This means all the assets of the duplicated material will be duplicated as well. You can modify the appearance without changing the original material by mistake. Feature number seven, support materials, textures, and decals with cloud paths. In the old Revit, the images link had to be in a local server. That is challenging for people working on the cloud as you often get a broken link warning, like in this example. In the new Revit, you can select a cloud link, making it easier to control texture images in your project. For example, you can store these images in your BIM 360 folders. Feature number eight, activate controls and dimensions. When selecting multiple elements, you might see annoying pin icons and temporary dimensions everywhere. In Revit 2023, you can remove all this clutter. In the Modify tab, make sure that the Activate Controls tool is inactive. If it is active, you will see all these small icons, like in the previous versions of Revit. These icons will only display if you select a single element. Initially, I was not very excited about this feature, but it makes a big difference in performance. Elements are selected more quickly when the control icons are turned off. Feature number 9, Hide Work Sharing Make Editable Icons. In work shared models, selected elements display an icon with three cubes when you select them. This is used to make the elements editable, which means you take control of it. The problem is that when you select lots of elements, these icons can get annoying, especially since you rarely need to use this tool. In Revit 2023, go to the Collaborate tab and click on the arrow on Manage Collaboration. Uncheck the box for Show Work Sharing Make Editable Controls. These useless icons will not show anymore when you select elements. Feature number 10, element mapping for IFC exports. If you work with IFC files, you will know this new feature. When you select an element, you will see new parameters here. It lets you select specific options for IFC export. You can set if elements should be exported by type, by instance, or not exported at all. You can also map the elements to a specific IFC category and override the GUID number. All of these parameters are also available in the type properties. Feature number 11, duplicate family parameter. Creating a lot of parameters in families can be long and boring. In the new release, you will find a small icon that allows you to duplicate a specific parameter. It will use the same parameter type and it will be grouped the same way as the original one. Feature number 12, case where category supports join geometry. In the old version of Revit, you cannot use the join tool for elements in the case where category. In the new version of Revit, it is possible to do so. You can not only join multiple case works together, but also to other categories like walls. Feature number 13, sort page order for PDF, printing and export. In the old Revit, you were forced to export a set of PDF in alphabetical order. In the new release, there's a tool called Edit Print Order. There are three methods to sort the views and sheets. The first is manual. You can drag and drop sheets. The second method is alphabetical, which is the default. Finally, you can sort the sheets by specific settings you have set up in your project browser. This way, users won't have to reorder the sheets in Acrobat. Feature number 14, enable cutting in view option for these categories. 
There are certain categories in the old Revit that cannot be cut. That means the thickness of the lines will display the same regardless of if the element is cut or not. For example, you can see that the furniture category doesn't have specific settings for cut in the object styles. It will always use projection. In Revit 2023, there are four new categories that can be cut, including furniture, furniture system, plumbing fixtures, and specialty equipment. For this feature to work, you have to activate the tool Enable Cutting in Views inside the family. As you can see, the furniture element now appears with cut view thickness. Feature number 15, tag model groups and RVT links. In the old Revit, you cannot tag Revit groups or links. If you have a look at the group type properties, it is mostly empty. In the new Revit, you can create a tag and assign it to the model groups or Revit links categories. As you can see here, we create a tag and assign it to a specific group. It shows the type mark of the group. If you go to the type properties, you can see that the standard built-in parameters are now available for model groups. Feature number 16, temporary dimensions for element with nested family elements. In Revit 2022, the temporary dimensions feature didn't work for certain families with nested shared families inside of them. You have to click the activate dimensions button for the temporary dimensions to show up. If you unselected the element, you had to redo that step again. In Revit 2023, the Activate Dimensions button has been removed. The temporary dimensions will always show up for this kind of families. Feature number 17, Draw Filled Regions in 3D Families. In the old versions of Revit, you cannot draw filled regions in 2D views of 3D families. For example, inside this furniture family, we only have access to the Masking Region tool. In Revit 2023, the Fill Region tool is now accessible for 3D families. In this example, we draw a filled region for a part of this furniture, which will only be visible in plan views. Feature number 18, Swap Views on Sheet. If you select a view that is placed on a sheet, a new tool will appear in the Contextual tab. You can switch the current view for another one. It is possible to search for a specific view. A limitation of this tool is that you cannot actually swap the view for another view that is already placed on a sheet. If you try to do so, you will get this warning window. Feature number 19. Filter walls by base constraint and other parameters. It is now possible to filter walls based on these specific parameters. Base constraints, top constraints, base offset and top offset. In this example, we filter the walls by the top constraints to see if there are some walls that are not properly constrained. We set a red override to all walls whose top constraint is level 2. Feature number 20, conditional formatting by family and type. You can now use conditional formatting with the family and type parameters in schedules. In this example, we select a specific family and type as the condition, and we set the red override with each cell that meets the condition. Feature number 21, hide mesh edges and improve color overrides. In the old Revit, adding a color override to an imported geometry element didn't work. In Revit 2023, colored overrides for imported elements are now working. As you can see here, as we had a color override to this car. Feature number 22, displace elements and tags in 2D views. A few years ago, the displace elements feature was released for 3D views, allowing users to create exploded axonometric views. In Revit 2023, it is now possible to use this feature in 2D views as well. In this example, we displace walls and doors. They are not actually displaced in the model, only in this view. You can add path lines and set a specific color to them. It is also possible to tag the displace elements. Feature number 23. Search for view references. When creating a view reference, you can search for a specific view or a specific sheet number.
there are a few more features affecting architecture and all users. Don't forget to check out our Revit Pure learning packages. Instead of purchasing our packages one by one, we're offering our triple threat learning package bundle so you can effortlessly master Revit from start to end. Go to revitpure.com bundle and get 30% off when you combine the three courses.